In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how I make my thumbnails. If you go to my channel, you can see here how it shows. It looks like a globe, right? It looks like a nation itself. I'll, I'll be explaining how I make these in as much detail as I can. So first, I, what I use, I like to use the equirectangular world map. My friend gave me this, and you can find it in mapping resources. It's the, I wouldn't call it a new mapper stash, but it's practically that. You can find a lot of resources, and you can find this map in the world section. You can use different maps if you would like. They all work, but this is why I like to use. Starting off, um, you have to find a nation. Any nation, you can edit these nations to be how you want. You can use province borders. So you want Germany to have Alsace Lorraine. You can easily make it and then do it hence. So say I want Austria. Choose an exotic color that this map wouldn't have. And then you can just fill it in. This is usually if it has like a lot of islands like say Denmark. Denmark has a lot of islands. You fill it with any color. I'll just use Denmark as an example for now. You fill it with any color and you go to your recolor tool. It's on paint.net and it comes with recolor unlike Photoshop. And then you just recolor all of the islands. I don't know the exact borders of Denmark. Something like this. Especially Greenland. Greenland See all, see all those islands instead of going individually one by one, you can just use a recolor tool. Set it to a big number and then just recolor. You get it, right? So I'll be just if it's if it has no other islands, you can just use magic wand, take it. And when you when you've maybe I should explain this, with the color everywhere, right? with all the colors on the islands. A cool trick to use in paint.net is to take your magic wand, hold shift, and then left click. This will select all of this color. See, you can see here, these islands are selected as well. It's a very cool trick. I use it practically every day. So anyway, we're on with Austria. So after you selected it, you cut it. See the scissors up there? You just cut it. It'll also be kind of like a a speed, a, a flag art tutorial, whatever. So then just get an Austrian flag. And then you make a new layer under the layer you're just editing on. And you just bring it under, crop it. I'm not the best at flag arts, but it should be fine. So Austria. And then you can just merge this layer with this layer. And then I have my border glow. So it's very intense right now, but I merge it into my terrain layer, which has an opacity of 60. So I just merge it, and then it goes to a very subtle border glow. And then I just merge it together. I delete the province layer. So then you have this. I press new, new canvas, and enter in 1920 by 1080. This is YouTube's, you know, HD quality other than 4K. And then just select a big chunk of the map. It can be bigger, it doesn't matter if it's bigger. When it shows this screen, press keep canvas size. Now you just try to get it in the middle, and then 
Control Shift Z. Press Control Shift Z, and it will bring you into this. So you can just play around with this. This is the zoom, obviously, and then this here. You can rotate the ball. I usually use these so it's more precise but you can use the ball here as well so I'm just gonna zoom in here you can play around with this mm. Alright, that's fine. Yep. Press OK. And then now you have this. So press new layer and then add a layer of black. Well, I like to do this. You don't have to do it. But then I change the opacity down a lot. Usually 40 or so. Between the range of 30 and 60. And then add another layer that's completely black. Go to your eraser. Turn on anti-aliasing, however you pronounce that. Make it enabled. I'll make it where it does it does not not use transparency. So just press in the middle or where the nation is, and then you have it here. Maybe a bit more. The reason why I have this layer. The reason why I have this layer is because without it, it's very bright, and I don't, I don't, I don't want it to be very bright, so I just, I tone it down. And then, this is my favorite part. Go to your brush tool, the aliasing enabled, and I get a color, any color. I usually like to match it with the flag, but you don't have, it doesn't always have to. So just touch it a bit. And then you know put it at the top. You can add some green, add some white, and then you press the wrench here, and then you can turn it down so it looks it looks cool, right? And then you can make a new layer on top of all of that. I'll be making the thumbnail for this video. So, I don't know. So what I do? Hmm. Um, nail tutorial. I use this font. You don't have to use that font. You, you can use whatever font you want. So I'll just put it here. A tip for making the text. Try to avoid making it in the bottom right. Because here is where it the length of the video is going to be. And I heard this from Vera. He said that he really messed up with this when making his other his old series like Prosperity. You can see that he put his episode number in the bottom right and the video length covered a lot of it. So thumbnail tutorial how to make a thumbnail like this. And then to get it centered, I rely on this tool. This is a plugin. I don't know how to, how to use it without the plugin. So I line it up with the top here. And then I, you can see that it's not even. So what I do is I select all of it, make a big square, and then bring it down so it doesn't cover that. And then when you're here, to Effects, Object Align, this is a plugin, you need, you need the plugin. And then you press horizontal left, and the vertical bottom. This up here can go up a bit.
then hmm. Then I go to op this is uh, the plugin again. I go to object drop shadow and then I add my the default drop shadow to the text. Five five two five five. And then you have it. Here is your nation. Very simple, but it takes a lot of experience to do. I just start I just recently started using it. I'm Still pretty bad at it, but if you see Verrett's thumbnails, he's gotten very good at it. And he, I think, he uses Google Earth. I'm not sure. I, I just use the equirectangular map. So I hope you have learned something. If you still have questions, you can ask me on my Discord or in the comments. But I cannot guarantee I will be able to answer you in the comments. Discord is the best since I usually answer within eight hours time depends if I'm sleeping or not. Alright, thank you for watching.